Let's here. see what old Toucan Sam does in there with one extra bird. Depending on what they lead us out with right here. I changed it quite a bit. Let's see if we can get old Bubba to work out. Hey, at least we got the ice instead of the dang stone again. That's a plus. Dad burn stone forward me around, man. Mm -hmm. I was trying to take that little one out right there, man. You'd be surprised how much damage is right there. Oh, that little stuff, when you get a chance to, take it out every chance you get. Yeah. Something I was wondering about, since I played with no extras. If you can kind of check your, everything out, you know, it's kind of like a domino effect, if you can hit it right. <clears throat> Every now and then, them rooms ain't as bad as they look. If you can just get the right bird, you know what I'm saying? Got a little better push out of that middle that time. Depends on how you hit that far right hand stack. Well, it left a lot behind though, didn't it? Whew. Dang. Ten million laying over there, more. Mm. Now, I waited on this room right here a few minutes ago for a good while. It never did go anywhere. I'd say, man, go right through there and get it. It's going to pile everything up, you know. Might get more damage like this if I can hit it right. At least we can push some of it off that cliff there, you know it. About lost that little notch on my destructo meter, but now, I didn't wait very long last time on this, and sometimes them right there will fall. If you can watch that, <coughs> that bottom piece of ice right there, if it starts shifting, a lot of times that baby right there will go on its own. Hold back on old bomb there a little bit. That way it kind of puts old bomb down there toward that dynamite. That's a pretty good balance right there, eh? Right?
Now the closer you get to that structure you drop that egg on, the faster old Matilda will take off, the more power she'll have on that second hit. Every now and then that'll help you now. Different rooms, you know. Try to get old Leonard over in the middle of them two if you can. I missed that one. It's a risky strike too. Let's see what else we can do here. Just didn't make it all the way through, did he? All right then. You can get enough to roll that dude off right there. Oh man, did you see that? <laughs> uh, Lordy. Yeah, there we go. Mm. No, Matilda's a good one right here, boys. If you got her, try to get about right up in here. Drop Matilda's egg in the middle of that. Or as close to it as you can. And try to kick something over and take that dude out. You'll get that strike. This ain't good. It ain't gonna give me my field again, I bet you. Darn magic man they're gonna get us. I'm gonna try something here. <clears throat> I don't know. I didn't hit that dang dynamite. That's just one big mess. <clears throat> All right then. That old man can do right here. Hope to get a good hit up there at them rocks. And man, it's just. <laughs> Who knows where this will go? Well, I'd like to have old bomb right there, you know. What kind of angle they'll give us. Let's get out of here. But old Tilly's a good one right there now. You got her.
Can't believe it didn't set that darn dynamite off. Must be dang for something there. Got wet. Mm. That's pretty convenient, ain't it? So I'm gonna go sleep on you. There. I don't like it. <laughs> I like the odds on that a little bit better. This hole go down low. Enough to get away from that top flower. Hold up high enough to get that one closest to the slingshot. You'll be alright. Old Big Red. Can't never tell about him, man. Now look at that. You gotta be kidding, dude. Well, I hope that helps you out there, fellas. You can see your old laser beam sleep on the job, eh? Good luck to you now.